Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas, you know. Today I am not going to explain any logical program or a functional program. Today we are going to discuss about the general things actually. The biggest question to every student is after completion of engineering, so what is the best course and what we have to learn actually? Generally, yes, as soon as you have completed your engineering, how your father thinks and how you will think generally see your father always try to suggest you that about the companies so go with the product based companies and don't go with the project based companies so such type of assertions so he, he try to give but how you are thinking so what is the best course and what is the best institute where i should learn the course and what are the courses what are the suitable courses to get the job and all it's generally every student is thinking like this so what is the best course and where we need to learn so these are the two important questions to every student after completion of engineering right so generally what you will do you will ask your father after completion of engineering so that I, I want to do uh, some course as why? Well is already engineering completed and you learned so many things no dad i learned all these things in a exam point of view not in the interview point of view so, oh so there are two types of languages for example c language so c language is for interview point of view and c language is for exam point of view is there any two courses no but generally in engineering colleges we are we are this means what studying actu actually through exam point of view only not through interview point of view so in interview point of view we have to learn again once again languages so what are the languages and who will give the best suggestion and all so then again whenever you are you will ask your father your father will call up some other people the friends the relatives and their their uh, kids and all and whenever you are looking for suggestions and from different people different suggestions you will get generally you will get different suggestions for example one person is saying that uh, the c language is very basic so first you should go with the c language and later we go with some other things and one person is saying that so no no anyway you have completed that c language in your academics that much knowledge is enough so you can go with the java or no no python is trending so you go with the python so data science is everywhere you you please go with the data science so artificial intelligence and machine learning is a future so you go with artificial intelligence and machine learning so you will get different suggestions from different people actually different people for example if you collect all the suggestions and if you start learning one by one one by one one by one so what will happen As it will take like one year or one and a half year two years it will take to complete all the courses one by one one by one after that after completion of all the courses so once again if you call up those people and to get the recommend to get some suggestions i have completed all these courses means no this means what already two years completed so you got some experience so these are just basic courses and you have to learn some advanced courses actually then what you will do so generally every student is getting such type of problems so please so don't get suggestions from anyone it's a time waste it's very sure ask google it's everything see just a query to google a simple query to google how the companies are recruiting the freshers how the mncs are recruiting and what is the procedure what is the procedure how they will conduct the exams and how they will conduct the interview rounds and all how many rounds are there you please get the suggestions from google only because so because what are the things which are required required to get the job that is the main problem to every fresher after completion of their engineering yes for every fresher so what are the things required it means what what is the order rounds right in which order they are conducting the rounds in a interviews 
and most of the people those are already faced that interviews and all they shared their thoughts actually in a google so if you go through those suggestions and thoughts then you will get some idea so what are the courses we have to learn the first thing is what communication is very very important very very important communication actually the first thing almost the first two rounds in every mnc they will conduct means what just to test your communication skills only and next they will check your arithmetic nothing but aptitude arithmetic and reasoning is very very important so one round or maybe two rounds so from company to company it will change and next they will test your technical skills see as a fresher you should be good at one technical skill set it's like one programming language is enough any one programming language so because they, they never ask the questions directly generally they will ask the question so that you can answer the questions using any any programming language with your technical knowledge you can so no need to learn all the courses which are available in the market for fresher no need to learn all the courses actually depends on the requirement sir i am not getting the things properly in the internet first upload your resume and attend some interviews yes then you will get some ideas that is so means what with our own experience right you will get some ideas that what we should learn after completion of engineering after completion of engineering right what we have to learn you will get some ideas that is please don't take suggestions from anyone no use how they will give such suggestions means what such type of things only just they will look at the boards around right what are the boards right means what yeah everywhere something like python is there you please go and learn python right and or sometimes they will call up some other person so what is the best course currently is running in the market as like everyone is saying the data science oh, okay you can, you can go and sit in the data science class please don't waste your time unnecessarily as well as please don't waste your money the two things this means what sir everyone is saying the data science and why you are not saying the data science no data science is there of course not only data science all courses are there but not for the fresher actually that is not the company requirement company will not check are you good at a data science or not no are you good at artificial intelligence or not no are you good at python knowledge python or not no they will not check are you good at programming are your communication is good or not arithmetic ability is there or not only these are the things they will check actually generally means how the recruiters thinking that if you are good at one programming knowledge that easily you can switch from another programming language that is we can provide the training if required because in the entire life you will not work on your particular platform actually of course as a developer we have to switch from platform to platform nothing but programming language to programming language we have to switch how can we if you good at one platform nothing but if you good at one programming language easily you can switch so please try to concentrate on learning one programming language at least that will be helpful in learning all the other programming languages and technologies almost all the languages and technologies having the same syntax and same number of topics almost 75% remaining like syntactical differences only from programming to programming language so please follow these things right if you want to ask anything directly ask the google please don't get suggestions from anyone you are an engineer believe in yourself so hope you understood thank you